Which key, which key, which key? Ah, uh, actually, we need to move all of these cards. Today's video guys, I finally want to do something to this card that I've been wanting to do for so 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 long which is install a backup camera. I've been trying to get a backup camera for so, so, so long for this car because honestly, I'm just so used to it. But I decided what would be cooler than just a backup camera and that would be a backup camera on my cluster and having a digital cluster that's custom made for this car. This is something I've been waiting on to get for so, so, so long. We finally have it. We also have a few other little modifications like a yellow push button start, a yellow M button. And um, we finally got this black headliner piece. I ended up getting this thing when we went to Specialized German to pick up the engine. I was like, while I'm there to get the engine, I might as well just pull this bad boy out from the same car we got this headliner from. So that ended up working out like a win-win. And then this guy right here is from Keys Motorsports, which is a carbon fiber spoiler. This one right here is severely faded. And uh, honestly, I don't really know what to do with it. So I really want to take it off, clean this section up, put on a brand new wing on it, hopefully wash this car and it's gonna look so, so, so good. We'll do a clean cinematic of everything on the car. I'm telling you guys, I think we went a little too hard on this build, but at the same time, by going so hard, I'm happy to say I have one of the cleanest 328s out there and uh, I think that's a win in my books. I mean, especially considering everything has been pretty much a budget build on this car. So first things first, honestly, I wanna knock out is this piece right over here. I don't think it's gonna be fun, so I just wanna knock this out first because this thing is more of a cosmetic thing that I've been trying to do since we installed the black headliner we didn't actually get this piece so it kind of looks kind of ugly i don't like that on our roof we have a full black headliner black everything just that piece isn't black so without further ado let's go ahead and just try to remove that not looking janky anymore that top piece just looks so weird inside of the car the, 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 the gray it just looks so terrible so now that we have the black sunroof cover uh, i think the next thing is my hands are kind of dirty i want to do the spoiler next so let's go ahead and try to get this spoiler off and install our brand new keys motorsports spoiler this is gonna look so 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 good i love carbon fiber from keys motorsports it always looks so 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 good i've had it on the i8 for god knows how long and it did not go bad whatsoever this clearly looks like an ebay one it literally started fading and stuff like that i don't know if the clear coat's not good on it or whatever but never had an issue with Fade through the Keys Motorsports spoiler. So that is why I always shop with Keys Motorsports. If you guys want to check them out, make sure to use code NOR5. And of course, with every order, guys, we got the Keys Motorsports decal and jet tech i have so many of these so for the first one that hits me up on instagram i will mail this out to you anywhere in the world so hit me up <laughs> guys look how beautiful this one is oh my god this is gorgeous and i love how it already comes with 3m already applied on this we just gotta peel this heat it slap it on the car um should be an easy diy and man this one has a kick I have to get you a better cinematic once we get this thing washed, but look at that kick. That kick is insane. If you guys look at the fitment too, it's right on the edge here, and it's literally right on the edge there. Yeah, I do need some cleaning down there. It's got some gunk and stuff in there. But I mean, 
Oh my god, for those of you guys who don't know also, the front bumper and the rear bumper needed to get um, paint polished. So we're gonna get the rear bumper and front bumper paint polished and the whole car um, polished up, ceramic coated and all that stuff. I mean like buffed out and all that stuff. So anyway, long story short, this car is getting a full paint correction in a little bit. That's why if you guys see me, it's like heavily neglected. Honestly, I haven't been really washing it because I just don't care. It's gonna get polished anyways in the upcoming weeks. But yeah guys, this spoiler, Oh my god, that is some girth nation. Definitely better than the last one. I absolutely I absolutely love myself a big spoiler. Again, if you guys want to get this or any other spoiler from Keys Motorsports, amazing fitment. Everything you need is right in the packaging. Make sure to use code NOR5 from Keys Motorsports. But my, oh my, that looks good. Now the next thing I've been dying to do for so, so, so long is install the ID4 Motion digital cluster, guys. This is everything we need to have a digital cluster on this car. But without further ado, let's go ahead and install this. This is actually a pretty easy install, but I did get a backup camera. I don't know if that's gonna make things a little bit more complicated, but regardless, I wanna get it done. So now that we have the sunroof cover installed and we finally have the carbon fiber spoiler on there, um, I really wanna start getting into this stuff right here. So this car obviously um, does not have a backup camera. I don't think any uh, 2007 e-chassis has a backup camera. So this is gonna be a backup camera, but at the same time, it's gonna be replacing your stock button. And uh, for those of you guys who don't know, your stock buttons, like get bad and if you have a 2007 i guarantee you've at least replaced your buttons one this gets super sticky and gets super gross this is in really good shape the material is so much nicer i could definitely see this oh actually this can even get removed so you can even replace it if it does ever get bad which I really like the concept of that. So yeah, we have a brand new button, brand new backup camera right here. It's actually gonna be connected not to our CIC, it's gonna be connected to our cluster because when we put on the backup camera, our main cluster screen is gonna go ahead and show our backup camera, which is super sick. That's like like supercar stuff, like in an Audi R8, when you put up your backup camera, you'll see it in your cluster, not the center screen. I mean, Audi R8 doesn't really have a center screen, but you guys know what I'm talking about. Also, I think this is the update chip right here, the USB update chip. This looks super fancy and really nice. I really love that. Um, I believe this is the controller um, and then obviously got a bunch of other stuff to me to cut out to the dashboard to make all this happen it's gonna be sitting something like this uh, once it's inside the car it's gonna look so 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 good I'm so excited without further ado let's go ahead and do all the prep work first not the easy stuff the prep work the stuff that takes the longest amount of time which is honestly getting the wires from the trunk to our cluster so once we're actually there we can start working just inside the car and get everything dialed in but uh first things first is getting off that trunk liner which is ah oh, no fun honestly guys this is actually not in bad shape this button i might even keep that usually my buttons are in really bad shape i've replaced these buttons so many times in different cars but wow this was actually in pretty good shape i think maybe actually oh no, wait hold up i re i replaced this when i got the car that's why I'm about to say because this is in really good shape. So yeah, first things first, let's go ahead and just remove all this uh, this stuff right here. It's just pretty much all these clips holding this bad boy on. I hope it's not gonna be a pain in the butt. the wires all routed i used oem bmw tape around this section right here put a little slit right over here a little slit over here um, on the outer layer of the gasket not the inner so that allows water to not actually seep through this is my method of doing it you can actually try to fish wire it through here um, but just because of how big this connector is i just don't think that's gonna fit so for me this works it looks really good it looks oem it looks as oem as it can get considering that we are doing an aftermarket thing um we do have both wires connected here you do want a little bit of slack here you want a little bit of slack here i went ahead and just taped it up so i'm not gonna have an issue right here i routed the wires behind this all the way behind the trunk and then through that side which then actually popped up these seats right of the wires underneath here right of the wires underneath here just like literally put my fingers down here and that's where we're at right now so we got all the wires right over here but we actually have plenty of wire which is a good thing so i'm gonna go ahead and pop up the steering wheel pop out the airbag make sure you disconnect the negative terminal and then uh, i think i have to pop out this thing this thing and the cluster <laughs> we can finally install that digital cluster it's gonna be so sick All right, guys, so now that we have the cluster out of the car, it does come with the template, and uh, the reason being is 
we do need to cut into the air tube that directs air to over here. Now this might sound like a bad idea, but they do include a plate that you put right in here. So it still directs air over here. And this job is reversible. If you just leave the plate in there, air will always be directed over here no matter what, even if you want to remove the cluster. So it's not the end of the world. So that being said, let's go ahead and make our cuts. It should look something like this. We need to just apply the tape, put it right here, and then we can just start dremeling this out. So now that we have the plate in there and the car is pretty much ready to get the cluster in there, um, before I actually put in the cluster, because I have a backup camera, I'm gonna go ahead and just pin in the backup camera, just make life a whole lot easier. Uh, I believe it goes into pin two and 20. So based off these instructions, uh, the ground pin black into pin connection two and uh, the, the red into 20. So black two, red 20. Let's get that in here. And now that we have the red and black wire connected, we can go ahead and start putting in our cluster. This is moment of truth time, guys. guys this is one of those moments where it's like is this mod really worth all the work or is this mod i even hope it works i mean i mean i'm gonna just go ahead and get my reaction real quick please god please god okay happy new year's <laughs> what okay all right guys so this is actually way brighter than i thought um Wow. All right, I'm going to play around with the settings because right now it's in kilometers and the miles are way off and there's a bunch of other little things I want to go ahead and fix, but this is pretty cool. All right, guys, so this is the next day. We have the E92 328 chilling like a villain right there with the brand new ID4 cluster. It is honestly amazing. I used it all day yesterday. I do need to change one setting right now because it thinks it's, it's like Happy New Year's right now. Um, so I do need to change the date on that because every time I turn on the car, it's just Happy New Year's. Um, I believe it's supposed to have a different welcoming screen. I reached out to them. They said, hey, you just need to change the date on there. I'm like, oh, duh. Obviously, if you change the date, um, it won't say Happy New Year's anymore. See, I'm going to go ahead and adjust that and show you guys a drive with that cluster. Honestly, guys, during this bright day, that cluster is so, so, so bright. And it has it to where it automatically adjusts with the rest of your um, controls inside the car. Once it actually gets darker in the day, all your rest of your devices get darker, including the cluster. You can set a setting to where at night, you can have it a certain brightness and during the day, it's at a certain brightness and it automatically adjusts. That's super, super, super cool. I'm not gonna lie. Really been digging that cluster. This E92 is severely heavily modified and I just love that detail on the inside as well. Also, I'm gonna be shipping out these two packages from my eBay store and also from Natty Performance, my website. I I sell paddle shifting retrofit kits and also iDrive retrofit kits. So if you guys' this car doesn't have iDrive or your car doesn't have paddles, I actually have retrofit kits for the both of those to make everything direct plug and play. Whether you have DCT paddles like mine or regular paddles with the upshift, downshift, I have all those kits on the website and you don't need anything special for them to work. You just need obviously the steering wheel and then obviously with the nav, you just need the nav itself with the controller and my harness makes everything work so super sick. So uh, I just find it's a good time to plug it in. So if you guys wanna cop that, the link's gonna be down below. But yeah guys, I think the transformation with this car, we finally got the black sunroof on there, the carbon spoiler. We're gonna be taking this thing out for its first wash in a long time. We also have the digital cluster in there, M buttons right there. Um, I just think we did a lot in this video and I'm super, super, super happy with the transformation. Let's go ahead and give its first startup. I don't know if it's gonna say Happy New Year's today because technically it is one day later. So I'm assuming if it thought yesterday was Happy New Year's, uh, today is not Happy New New Year's. I'm gonna go ahead and just start up the car. That screen loaded up. Nope, <laughs> it still says Happy New Year's, guys. So I gotta go ahead and adjust that real quick. All right, guys, so I finally adjusted the date. Let's go ahead and turn off the car real quick. Make sure this cluster completely turns off. Let's go ahead and start it up one more time. Welcome. That is what I'm talking about. That looks so, so, so good. So I didn't actually go with anything custom. If those of you guys who want to do something custom, you put welcome your name. Um, obviously, I just know myself. Um, I love this car. It's my daily, but I'm not going to keep it forever. So I don't want to be like welcome nor. And then all of a sudden, uh, the next guy that buys it is like, what the heck, man? How do I fix that? <laughs> you know, so I don't plan on selling this car right now. But you guys know me. I always want to pretty much move up, move up, move up in the world. That's how I got the super right now. That's how I have the 640 chilling right there. And I've always just want to elevate in my life. 
so if that means when an opportunity comes to sell this car i will sell it but as of right now i am just enjoying it so 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 much we've done so many modifications to this car and i don't plan on selling it anytime soon but you guys know me i i'm just very impulsive sometimes but anyways as you guys can see by the cluster this thing is just so 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 crisp so nice this reflection that you guys are seeing on camera you don't really see it in person so that is a huge plus because i've noticed that watching other youtube videos that the reflection is pretty bad and actually it's not as bad when you're the one sitting in the seat itself so um that's really cool i currently have it on this animation i like the analog it looks really dope i love how it has like the white circles as well i think that looks really nice as well but i can go ahead and just adjust this using my bc switch right here so i'm going to go into appearances i'm going to go into themes and default themes and you guys can check this out you can just scroll through all these different themes which is so 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 sick and if you guys are not a big fan of analog uh check this out i'm literally about to go over right now to the digital and it's going to change the entire thing it kind of looks like the newer cars to be honest and i think it's right come on come on there's so many different themes there you go <laughs> check that out if i wanted to go with a yellow theme right here if i go up one more check that out <laughs> that looks great actually you know what I might actually rock that for a minute. That that looks that looks crazy. That looks so good with all the yellow accents, the yellow jet tag, the yellow stitching, the M button, the, the stripe, every, literally everything. Oh, I just reset. You got to make sure you actually save it. So yeah, I'm actually going to rock that right now. And I'll show you guys its responsiveness. I also forgot to show you guys the animations. Look at how it says park right now. If I throw it in reverse, the R and it just comes up like that. And look at that backup camera. That is crazy. And the backup camera is actually very responsive and has a very wide angle range. So this actually looks, guys, like, I'm not going to lie. This is one of those products. I was kind of like, hmm, I don't know if I need it, but I want it. <laughs> this thing is pretty sick. Oh, what is that? What's going on? Uh, oh, okay. I do have a, looks like I do have a code. High battery drain. Um, hmm. I think there is an update actually for this cluster because it's causing battery drainage. Uh, I'm actually going to park this car in right now and go ahead and update that just so we don't actually have any issues. When I purchased it, they did say to go ahead and update this because it does update the issues with high battery drainage and stuff like that. I didn't actually think I was going to have that issue, but it does look like I have that issue. So better safe than sorry. I'm going to go ahead and plug the USB in my computer, get the update on the USB that came with my kit. Um, I don't know if it comes with every kit, but it came in my kit and I'm going to go and update it, plug it in. Uh, and uh, yeah, hopefully it just updates. All right guys, this is actually pretty important. I think you can use any USB, but I got the ID4 motion USB, which looks super, super, super sick. Plugged it into my computer and would you look at that for the update, the latest version, it fixes the battery drain issue, which is what we're having right now. Um, some flickering button issues, separate night brightness selections, remove texture for RPM 8 modern, um, just a bunch of other things, but the primary thing, fixed battery drain issue. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead, download that to our USB, plug into the car, and it should automatically update. Well, at this point, let's go ahead and plug into the car. Hopefully that worked. I don't even know, because the file is like some weird file, and I can't open it on my computer, but maybe this cluster can. Man, that welcoming screen is so nice, especially if you guys put your names on it. Um, so now that it's on, I'm gonna go ahead and plug in my USB. All right, cool. So as soon as I plugged into the USB, um, a file that I couldn't even open up on my computer, the cluster automatically rebooted and it says software update. Now it says welcome. And I think that's it. I think that's a, yep, that's a very fast update. So uh, I think we're good. I think we're good. Hopefully no more battery drainage issues. Um, actually the faults went away from my dashboard right now, which is a good thing. But go over to vehicle info, vehicle status, check controls. Yep, all systems are good right now, which is a good thing. Um, I'm actually gonna leave the USB uh, just in there for the rest of this drive at least, just for, the, I don't know, just in case it's still updating the background. Uh, it looks like it's done, it already rebooted, according to them, as long as it reboots. You're graving the Navy, so <laughs> yeah, like I said, guys, this is so sick. Like, this is crazy. I am not gonna lie, this, is, this isn't this is something I thought I was gonna love, but I love it, like I absolutely love it. Um, in terms of responsiveness, just to be as transparent with you guys as possible, it is not as responsive um, as you guys can imagine. A digital thing, um, aftermarket, is not gonna be as responsive as the OEM one, but it's all it's barely noticeable. Like for me as somebody that's literally trying to play with, trying to see that it's delayed, it's barely noticeable, especially especially when you guys put it in the, I believe like, what's it called, the, the, the digital gauge. The digital gauge is way more responsive and you barely, barely see a lag. The analog, you still can barely see a lag, but, but it's not as responsive as the digital one. At least that's what I noticed. Um, but still guys, very, very, very responsive. I really, really, really love it. I love how you can switch between kilometers and miles very easily. I think because technically we did accomplish the build, we have finished 
this build. Crazy they say for me, Nor Hamadi, that I actually finished the build because then I normally never consider a build finish. I always have something else in mind, but honestly, guys, I've done literally everything to this 328, especially in the short time that we had it, and I don't really think there's anything else I'd rather do. I mean, yeah, maybe Apple CarPlay or something like that. Actually, don't oh, look at me. I don't think technically this build isn't finished. <laughs> I'll always find something, but to celebrate because we got this work in the back of cover and work, and it was, uh, you know, it, and I'm just very happy with where this build is. And I'm just really happy with where, where, and I'm just really happy with where, and I'm just really happy where, I'm just really happy where this build has gone. I think, I think we should get some Chipotle uh, to celebrate. I mean, regardless, I want some Chipotle, you know what I'm saying? So uh, let's go ahead and get some Chipotle. I haven't took you guys on a Chipotle run in a while now. So let's go ahead and get that, drop off these packages and uh, just get this thing a clean wash because it needs it. Guys, <laughs> this is so sick. I feel like I'm driving like an M4 right now because it's all digital and stuff. It just looks so good. Now I'm not, like, guys, again, way brighter in person. Absolutely love it. Anywho, let's go ahead and jump off these packages and get some Chipotle because I am hungry. Guys, look at these shifts too. It says M2, M3, M4. <laughs> that looks so good. Oh my lord. We're here, boys. 328 chilling. <laughs> And we got our Chipotle here at the park. Um, kind of sitting a little bit outdoorsy today just because it's kind of a vibe. Not gonna lie, I've been enjoying the outdoors a lot more recently, just the breeze and everything. I usually get my food and I eat inside and uh, it's honestly getting kind of boring and kind of depressing. So I kind of like getting my food. I also got myself a, a Coke from McDonald's because it's a dollar, you know, you just can't beat that, you know what I'm saying? So here at the park, about to enjoy my Chipotle. I'll show you guys what I got. Let me know if you guys do the same thing when you go to Chipotle. You get yourself a side tortilla, you get yourself a bowl, and then you put the tortilla out there, dump half your bowl into tortilla, and then now you got a burrito and half a bowl. It tastes so, so, so good. I bet you I'm making some of you guys create this right now, but uh, I'm not even gonna feel bad about it. I mean, it's, it's, it's good. I'll catch you guys at the car wash once I'm finished. We are at the end of the video. The E92 guys came out so, so, so beautifully. And uh, honestly, I have nothing else to say. The ID4 cluster looks absolutely amazing. It looks like almost an OEM cluster. Like I, I honestly think that this cluster is using other vehicles just because of how like seamless it works. It's actually a really, really, really nice cluster. Um, yes, it's more on the higher price side compared to my other modifications I put on the car. But at the same time, this is something that you don't really see on any other e chassis. I've never ever seen this before on any of my friends' cars. I'm one of the first to have it. And it's kind of cool to have one of those sick and unique mods that no one else has. And it also allows you to add features to your car that your car would have never had. For example, like an RPM gauge that come, like literally shift lights that come off like an M3 and stuff. You could put it on there, just literally just, just choose that option, shift lights. You can have it to where it shows your horsepower numbers, all that stuff. So if you have a 335, an M3 or whatever, it's just super, super, super sick and I really, really, really like it. Um, so that is a super cool mod. If you guys also like the Keys Motorsports carbon fiber spoiler, make sure you check out that link down below. But yeah, I think it's pretty much a wrap for this build. I mean, I don't think I'm gonna be doing anything else to that car right now. I'm gonna be trying to focus more on the other builds. Big news on the X5 coming soon. We have some good news and some bad news and the bad news is pretty bad. I mean, honestly, I got gypped pretty badly and that's unfortunate, but that's life. So um, anywho, I don't wanna end it on a bad note. So we also have some very good news for the X5. So that is the good news. I'll see you guys in the next video, but without further ado, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble.
I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.